everyone, welcome to our channel Science of Life and this is Preeti, your science mentor. Students, we all eat variety of foods in our day-to-day -day life that is chapati, pizza, burger, vegetables, fruits, rice, butter, ghee, cheese, lots of things. Hmm. Now, what do we get from these foods? We get nutrients out of this food. So, in today's class, we are going to study about the nutrients and their role in our body. Okay, so ready? Okay, let's start. Students, before starting, we should know actually what are nutrients. So, nutrients are the substances that are needed by all the living beings to stay alive. Yes, because from nutrients we get energy for growth, for repair of the tissues, plus healthy functioning of our body. So, nutrients are the substances that are needed by all the living organisms. Now, we will study about the classification of the nutrients and the types of nutrients. So, on the screen, you can see the classification of nutrients, that is carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. So, basically, these are the five types of nutrients. In some textbooks, you can find water as well and roughage also and in some books you will not find water as a nutrient. Both are correct because water is also a very important part of our body. So we will study water as well in this video. So let's begin with the first category that is carbohydrate. Students, carbohydrates are the energy giving foods. They give us lots of energy and some of the carbohydrates give us instant energy also. Normally, we eat sugar and starch in carbohydrates. Sugar are the very simple carbohydrates and starch are little complex. So, from where do we get these carbohydrates? Examples are chapati, rice, bread and uh, fruits also and milk also. From these food items, we get energy. That's why daily we used to eat chapati in our diet, in lunch also, in dinner also, we daily eat chapati and rice because they are energy giving foods which are very important. For example, if you are feeling low, so that time you can drink glucon D also because, because glucon D will give you instant energy that is the glucose, simplest carbohydrate. So carbohydrates are energy giving food. Now the second category is fats. Students. Fats are also energy giving foods. In fact, they give more energy as compared to the carbohydrates. But we need fats in less amount as compared to carbohydrates. Because fats normally give us stored energy. See, for example, if you people are fasting or doing heavy exercise, dancing, any heavy physical work, at that time, from where your body will get energy? At that time, our body use the stored fat and burn it and convert it into energy. So fat gave us stored energy. Now the sources of fats are butter, ghee, oil, all the dry fruits, nuts, coconut. All these are the sources of fats. So the third category is proteins. Proteins are actually body building food. They help us in growth. So the main function of protein is growth of our body plus they repair the worn out tissues. So having the protein in our diet help us to grow faster and in a good manner. So we used to give high protein diet to the babies because at that time their body is growing. Plus sports person also need proteins because they are building their bodies. So proteins help us in bodybuilding as well as growth. Now the sources of proteins are pulses, soya bean, eggs, meat. All these are the sources of proteins. Now coming to the fourth category that are vitamins. In our previous video we have already discussed vitamins are needed for healthy functioning of our body plus to fight the diseases. Vitamins make us high fi healthy and fight diseases and the sources of vitamins are carrot, orange, sunlight, 
So these are the sources of vitamins and they are needed for healthy functioning of our body. Now the last category is minerals. Students, our body needs minerals in very small quantity but they are needed for healthy functioning of our organs and organ systems. For example, iron, iodine, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, all these are minerals that are needed by our body in small quantity. Like calcium is needed for strong bones and teeth, iron is needed for the formation of our blood cells. So these are important. Now from where do we get these minerals? Sources of minerals are milk, green leafy vegetables, fruits, all these are the sources of minerals. Now coming to the fibers and roughage. Normally, fibers and roughage are not nutrients. They do not give any kind of nutrition to our body. But they are helpful in cleaning our digestive system. Just like a mop, when we use mop in our house for cleaning the house, in the same way, fibers clean our digestive tract. So, fibers are essential for cleaning up. Okay, and sources of fibers are all the fruits and vegetables. Now, coming to the water. Water is actually very important because 70% of our body is made up of water only. Water helps us in digestion. Water helps us in cleaning our blood by forming the urine. Water maintains our body temperature. Plus, it keeps all the cells lively, alive. That's why water is very essential. So, we should drink 3 to 4 liters of water in a day. So, my dear students, these were all the nutrients, carbohydrates and fats are energy giving, proteins are body building, vitamins and minerals for healthy body and for fighting against diseases, water for maintaining temperature. So all these things, all these nutrients are very important for us. So we should have balanced diet as I told you earlier also eating all the nutrients in our diet is the balanced diet and we should have balanced diet. So my dear students, these were the nutrients and their role in our body. I hope you understood and keep learning. Stay safe.